Hello friends, my name is Kyle, Real Revelations Everywhere, spelled how you see it, two S's. In this video, this is going to be one that I've been looking forward to for a long time. This is a concept that I almost obsess with, in a way, that kind of is the, let's say, the guiding light towards whether or not something feels constructive once I have experienced it, I suppose you could say. It's more so like a, a concept of how to be, in my mind, that is like open-ended enough that it doesn't restrict you into all like this specific set of virtues, but definable in a way that you'll be able to connect it to something that you have probably experienced before where or you've seen someone else almost experience it this level of respect is really the root of it of how to become a genuinely interesting opponent a genuinely interesting person in general to be very matter of fact about it just like anything else that i've talked about on here it all ties together it's all accomplishing very similar things that are very intertwined and it's Specifically, this is how you can start to perceive the way that other people can begin to perceive your actions, in a sense. Heavy air quotations. It's, the, it's a concept that is recognized as a lot of different tropes that you've seen in movies that I like to think about, you know, the the guy sitting in the corner of the bar that just smiles and you know, waves off the trouble that has come through the door and diffuses the situation because you come to find most of the time they either absolutely know better and understand I'll say loosely the rules of engagement, proper winning engagement, heavy air quotations. And they also just kind of know that they have what it takes to handle the situation if it comes to that, but it doesn't need to come to that. It's aspects of that combined with, you know, the ultimate rival. Someone that always has a smile on their face because they know something that you might not. They understand things the right way. And they're looking forward to the challenge of their next opponent and the one after that and the one after that and the one after that. The passion that takes place inside of someone that allows them to become someone that just has so many different layers and so many different interesting aspects about them that all accumulate to someone that is an absolute challenge for you to deal with in so many different ways, if, if not every way. It really is. It is like in my mind it's someone that you should be looking for you should be looking forward to finding and facing that next interesting opponent every single time you step onto the field every time you queue up for another game every time you open a book to read you should be looking for someone that inspires you to in turn become better yourself but having said that 
I want to point out specifically right now the number one way to find those people and have those people similarly appreciate you is to become one of those people yourself to take inspiration from all of the people that you find are that kind of person and add just as you take all of these small detrimental things and remove them you also take these little nuggets of gold from everyone that you see when you're paying attention and you add them to your repertoire, you add them to your arsenal, you add them to your portfolio of, wait a second, that was pretty cool. Hold on now. I know how he did that. And I think I could do that myself a few times. That seems pretty fun. Hold on a second. That was pretty cool. And you just, you just, hold on a second. I'm gonna file that one away. That was something worth knowing how to do. That made me think differently. That is something that I would like to be able to do myself. And that's how you find out how you can just grow a nugget at a time. Just keep practicing all these little fun things that you get to do. And there's no better arena for that than an actual arena whatever arena you choose however big however small don't care how many fucking seats there are around the outside doesn't matter you and your opponent will always have the best time learn the most and become more better <laughs> When both of you are interesting opponents, when you are doing and trying interesting things and you are trying your best, that is what it requires. You gotta be doing your best. It's not interesting watching you fucking slack around and just douche off and fuck around with everyone else's game and just, oh, I just got the ultimate mental. I just don't care. Or I just, I'm too cool for this shit. I'm too good for everybody. I don't fucking. I don't even need to be in here. I don't got to fucking do any of this shit. I don't fucking care no more. I'm too good for this shit. Fuck off. No, that stuff does not. That stuff doesn't go through the mind of a winner. They control what they control and they practice how they play all the time. Everything all the time is 100%. This is how it is. This is what I have to do. This is how I have to accomplish it to be better if i'm not trying to be better i have a way fucking i don't know you're in the wrong place i guess maybe this is the first time you've heard me hear say this but if you aren't trying to get better i'll tell you what this video is not for you it's not a negotiable thing you need, you have to need to get better, to be able to prevent whatever you think is headed your way in an arena or otherwise. It's the same level of preparation at all times. You practice how you play. And an interesting opponent understands that the passion drives them to be better because they want to be in harder situations. They want to be challenged further and they need other people to meet them at that level. This does nothing for me up here. I, this is hard to interact with. This is tough to look at. I need people to meet me up here at all times that I can meet them up there. And if I'm not maximizing my potential when I am performing, then I need to recognize that and I need to be better to myself in that situation. You have to do your best. And your best means something different every day. It's not always setting a fucking PR every time you touch the bar. 
It's not always doing more every next day. It's, it's not how that works. It's ebbs and flows. It's ride the waves up and down. You have to take your time and understand that it's not just, oh shit, I'm up here now, I'm doing great. Oh shit, I'm down here now, I'm down now, I'm not doing good. Oh shit, okay, I'm doing better. No, 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 I'm not doing it. No. You have maintained your average water level. You are maintaining, maintaining maintaining real change is when you change and from the sea to the ocean that's you change leagues when you do real effective things you take another step up and then you maintain and you maintain but if you don't maintain that and you haven't actually paid attention to what has gotten you to this point you will return back to where you came from, whatever level that is. And you're maintaining that level right there. It's not this huge shift every single day. You have to understand that you are rising over time. You have to meet people up to where they have risen. And it's everyone is at a different level. But when you find that person that you meet evenly, appreciate that. Appreciate it. Don't fucking make excuses about everything that they did. And, oh, they only did this because they, they only got to do that. And everyone else on their team did everything for them. You know what interesting opponents don't do? Fucking whine and fucking complain. And if you haven't watched that video, you should go watch that video right now. No more whining. No more fucking complaining. No more bullshit. No more fucking little shit pants. I'm a little shit pants. I'm make a bunch of excuses as to why he beat me. Because my fucking ego needs to be fed. And I don't want to wipe my butt. Fuck off. Fuck off. No. That is so, so, so fucking uninteresting. I don't even want to hear that for a fucking second. And I certainly, when I fucking wax your ass, don't want to hear about how everyone else did it for me. Hell no. Get fucked. That's so ridiculous. Taking all of the fucking responsibility and just fucking throwing it out the window for the sake of your ego. Nah, that's pathetic. That is pathetic. God, and I don't care if you... What did you just... What did you just tell yourself when you heard that? What did you actually hear when you heard that? Did you hear... Oh, fuck. I got a lot of... I got a lot of considering to do about the way that I've been. Did you hear that? Or did you just make even fucking more excuses and consider turning the video off? I'm sure there's a bunch of people that actually did just turn the video off. So if you made it past that point, congratulations, you have 1,000% more of a spine than all of those people. And, you know, I hope that those words are ringing in their head and that they come back around one day. Maybe they won't. Maybe they will. But I promise you right now, all the people that turned that video off just now are not interesting opponents. They're little fucking stains. They're little human stains and they're fucking hiding away in their tiny little diaper of a shell with a fucking soft, soft as baby shit because they don't have what it takes to be an interesting opponent. You have to understand differently. There's no excuses anymore. There's no fucking, oh, well, you know, he probably didn't even, you know, I don't even think he did that on purpose. Like, you say, oh, shit. Fucking got me. <laughs> Whoops. Fuck. Damn. And then you consider what, why, what led to that. How as fast as you can, and then you drop it. And next play. Okay. So now, then this is one of the backbones of the ideas of an interesting opponent. There was a podcast that PJ Tucker, the 
professional basketball player did. I'm sure he's talked about in a few of them. He's done a bunch of them by now. Uh, it was him explaining his mindset about who he is and how he does it and why he does it and the way that he explains it. I fucking, I love it. I love it so fucking much. And I hope to do it justice in explaining it now, but you should go find interviews of him explaining how the, he thinks the way that he thinks. You should hear him say it himself because he knows what he's fucking talking about. And he, I mean, he does it and he shows up and he defends the most talented players in the world in his in his arena he goes up against the most talented basketball players the most talented guys to ever play the fucking game and he never quits he never backs down he never fucking stops he is one of the most interesting opponents you could ever find and it is incredible hearing him talk about it and in essence it is okay there you go you got one now fucking do it again now fucking do it again oh you just scored again all right now fucking do it again because guess what i am not going anywhere now fucking do it again and you hear him talk about guarding fucking kevin durant and shit it's like a the most unfair shit you could ever ask someone to do is guard Kevin Durant one on one and like not have your head literally fucking explode off of your shoulders of the sheer insanity of the 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 depth of the challenge and to just never quit is it's I will always. I don't care what team he plays for. And he's played for the 76ers too. I will always. And he plays for the fucking Bucks too. And I'm a Celtics fan, by the way. So it's hard to root for him. It is hard to root for this guy for me. Except not at all. Because the amount of respect that I have for someone like that is... I, I can't put it into words. Words don't do it just. I'm not good enough with my words. I can't begin to explain how interesting that is and how powerful something like that is in the face of people that only want to take from you. That just their only goal is to score and you every single time. You, all right, fucking do it again. Because I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure that you don't. Every single fucking time. That's who I want to play. That is how I get better. That's how I make other people better. And that's how we raise the bar together over time. Keep raising the bar. Keep on fighting. Keep on going. Never give up. It's not worth it to give up. You will be so, so much more ashamed of yourself for giving up than you ever will for any amount of fucking points that are scored on you. Doesn't matter. That number doesn't matter. You can explain that number away a thousand ways to Sunday. And the higher that number gets, the more I attribute that to you trying hard. That's what that means to me. That's what that means to a fucking winner, is that you kept trying, that you kept going, that you didn't give up. I don't care how many deaths you have. I don't care how many kills you have. I don't care how many assists you have. You obsess over those numbers. You are losing track of what is actually occurring. Those numbers do not represent what your narrow perspective thinks that you think that they are. It doesn't matter. You fucking cut yourself off. From being able to see, you're blinding yourself with bullshit. What matters is that you show back up 
again and again and again and again and you look them in the eyes and you say fuck you do it again that's what matters you don't have to say fuck you that's that's a heat of the moment thing you know i'm sure they'll appreciate it after the game if you tell them that you don't actually mean it but it's like this level of understanding that is so uncommon the level of fortitude that it requires is so impressive it's like what else do you want who else could you want to be more like than someone that is like that what else is there who else do you want to fucking look up to like that's and that's not like a don't never meet your hero thing that's fucking real the never meet your hero shit no you're looking up to the wrong people if they, you're afraid of that shit no, 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 no. you gotta know you gotta see what people have shown you that they have shown you that they will not give up and i am not convinced that there is that level of understanding on a regular enough basis i know there are a lot of people out there that are like that and you should be looking forward to finding them becoming someone like that yourself but it's easy to think that there's all this other stuff that people are saying that equates to that level of just fear can fucking do and you can't let people just say whatever the fuck they want. They gotta fucking show up. I mean, they're gonna say certainly many interesting things along the way as well, but if they are not coupling that with actual impressive performances and actually persevering and actually proving what they're saying, that's not interesting. You make what you have said interesting with what have you done for me lately have you whooped my ass lately that's a very uninteresting if you haven't i'm gonna be honest that's like if you don't get a fucking few lumps for me if you are not interested in showing me that you are not gonna give up if you are not interested in letting me know from the get-go all the way to the end of the fucking clock when that bitch is zero that you have what it takes to never quit you are not interesting and if you're not interesting why should anyone else care not like a you're not a person worth love kind of thing but that's where the disrespect comes from and it really doesn't matter what they think of you but when you find that mutual interest and they meet that builds passion that's how you become more invested when you find those moments that truly challenge you properly wherever you are at it doesn't matter if you're meeting down here and you just started or you've been doing it for years and years and you're meeting up here at the pinnacle of whatever you do it's the same importance at every level as you find people that you appreciate and if you don't appreciate anyone including yourself guess what i find it extremely hard to fucking care if you have no appreciation for anyone else why should anyone else appreciate what you do you aren't going to do anything worth appreciating because you have no passion. You have no love. You have no enjoyment. Get rid of that shit. You need that. You need appreciation and gratitude for the people that you are playing against and with. And that immediately turns around into the next video I want to make, which is why you should care about everyone around you because it helps you become better. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, I'm fucking proud of you. And as always, you have to remember to be safe and to stay dangerous. Be ready to protect yourself in every way. And when you can, you have to take it easy.
Gotta rest and recover. Interesting opponents are not permanently injured. Interesting opponents are ready to show up. And they are excited for the moments that matter. Be excited. Don't be afraid of the failure of the challenge. That doesn't matter. Be excited for the challenge. Be excited to show up. Be excited for the opportunity at glory of any form or shape or function. Be proud of yourself because you showed up. Be proud of yourself because you weren't afraid to fail. I mean, I just, you might look at all of these successful people and assume that they are have only ever been successful, but I promise you, they have not. It was not easy. They failed a lot. I have failed more times than I can even fucking remember. Like, that is how I learned. I learned to fail. And I did it a lot. And there was a lot of shit that didn't fucking work. And it was not the most fun I could have had at the time. But it made for the ability to create the most fun throughout my life. Because it's the challenge. It is the need to continue to grow. If you're not needing to grow, wow that's as that is as uninteresting as it gets and i don't need to be around you to be completely honest that sounds terrible that sounds awful good luck with that that's you're gonna need all the luck you can get doing that shit fucking yeah. good luck but i know you've made it this far there is absolutely something within you there always has been and there always will be. You can be who you are meant to be. Just be happy to be there. That's, that really is what it is. Just be happy to be there. Understand and can really consider why you should be happy to be there. And if you're not happy to be where you are right now, understand that it is absolutely within you to make whatever you want of your life. It's only up to you. Other people, you're going to find that the only power that they have over you is the power that you give them. And there's no reason to give that away to anyone. It, it doesn't. Especially for people that care about you. The people that care about you the most genuinely care, not just are trying to keep you safe and tell you what to do until you're 18 or some shit. They don't want that power over you. The people that really care, they want you to be your own person. Think about that too. When you just played against someone and they're really considering how well you did and letting you know, take that and appreciate it. Hold on to stuff like that. Once again, I'm very proud of you. Good job. Keep it up. It's an everyday thing. Where you are right now is just right now. Keep moving forward. Thank you.